we can lend our own voice as well through music in doing this cultural exchange, exposing, promoting our indigenous language, singing and showing the whole world how rich our cultural diversity could be given in Nigeria. And I hope one day we will not limit it to you singing in Yoruba because we understand the challenges that comes while we were consulting that yes the people might love the the the, the percussion the rhythm but they might not be able to understand the language so we look forward to singing even in pidgin language or in other languages as well and that is the whole concept of the band and of the brand Famed Okwea Womolo, road manager of multiple Grammy Awards nominee Afrobeat singer Femi Kuti, introducing folkloric singer Durosimi Abiodu as he launched his debut album Aditu. <laughs> The music delivered in his native Yoruba language boasts of rich percussions and other musical instruments. Uh, I've always wanted to impact people and in my own little way, uh, based on my capacity and what I can do right now, uh, it's always my passion to touch people's lives. So I understand, as you said, noise all over the place. So I understand things like this are really missing. As young as I am, I grew up to meet some songs that would inspire you, that you pick uh, knowledge or wisdom from the messages in the song. So I've chosen to tell this part because I want to also, I know people who are out there hungry for things like that. So I've chosen to tell that, uh, that part. And looking at the financial gain, I know that every good product I will always have its own feedback. It might just take time, but what I understand is by being consistent, if you are good, uh, you are good. And I know for every good deed, there's always time for good reward. Already you hear hip-hop, you hear all the really Western music that has been then re-imported back into their country, sung by Nigerians. But I think the real future market is true Nigerian traditional music that the people in the West are just craving for. Uh, there are great outlets like OK Africa, based in New York, and they're just waiting to hear true indigenous music and I think that's what's so exciting about the music that we heard today. I think the world in many ways is getting smaller and the plus of getting smaller is that we hear more about the culture of each other. The bad point is many music that we hear now coming out of the Nigeria and other parts of the world just sounds like every other music. It sounds like the same European music, but sung by Nigerians or Niger... But I think what we can really excel in is exporting music that you don't hear anywhere else. And I think the world wants to hear music that they've never heard of before. Oh, mama, oh, yeah. 